Vera Miles was born Vera June Ralston in Boise City, Oklahoma, August 23, 1929, to Thomas and Bernice Ralston. She had three older brothers. She grew up first in Pratt, Kansas, but her family later moved to Wichita, where she got a job working nights as a Western Union operator. She graduated from Wichita North High School in 1947. She was crowned Miss Kansas in 1948 and went on to become the third runner-up in the Miss America pageant. While she was a contestant in the pageant, she was signed to a contract with RKO Studios and went off to Hollywood to start her new career as an actress. In L.A., Vera met Howard Hughes, who instructed her to go take acting classes. A man who worked for Mr. Hughes, Bob Miles, picked her up every morning to take her to the classes, and soon enough, they started dating. Less than a year later, Vera and Bob were married. Becoming Tarzan's Wife Almost immediately after arriving in L.A. and taking acting classes, Vera chose to take Bob's last name of Miles because an active film actress already went by the name Vera Ralston. Vera soon started landing minor roles, including a small uncredited role as a chorus girl in 1951's Two Tickets to Broadway, a musical starring Janet Leigh, whom Vera would later co-star with nine years later in Hitchcock's classic horror film Psycho. By 1952, she started getting better film roles. One of her first credited roles was in 1952's The Rose Bowl Story. Two years later, she separated from Bob Miles and filed for divorce. In 1955, she was cast alongside Gordon Scott in the film Tarzan's Hidden Jungle, where she played the wild jungle man's love interest. She ended up marrying Scott in 1956, and they remained married until 1960. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around to find out what Vera Miles is up to these days. But first, let's take a look at some of her most notable film and TV roles. Vera's work with Hitchcock 1956 was a big year for Vera Miles. Not only was it the year she got married for the second time, but it also marked another major milestone for her life and career. That was when she starred in 1956's The Searchers, a John Wayne western widely considered to be one of the greatest movies ever made. It was named the greatest American western by the American Film Institute in 2008. In that film, she portrayed the character Laurie Jorgensen, Jeffrey Hunter's love interest. In addition to starring in such a monumental film, Vera also appeared in Wichita, 23 Paces to Baker Street, and The Wrong Man opposite Henry Fonda. In The Wrong Man, a noir film directed by the late great Alfred Hitchcock, she was given the part of Rose Balestro, the wife of Manny Balestro, portrayed by Fonda. This intense film, which was based on the true story of a man wrongfully convicted of a crime, was Hitchcock's one and only movie based on a true story. But it was not the first time Hitchcock had worked with Miles. She previously had played the part of a new bride in the pilot episode of the popular anthology television program, Alfred Hitchcock Presents. The role Vera was known for. In 1957, Miss Miles signed a personal contract with Alfred Hitchcock and was reported to be his successor to Grace Kelly. Hitchcock had actually envisioned Miles in the leading role in his 1958 film Vertigo, but when she got pregnant, the role went to Kim Novak. He next cast Miles in the role of Lila Crane in 1960's Psycho. In that iconic horror film, Vera played the sister of Marion Crane, the woman who was viciously killed in the infamous shower scene. This became the role Miles was arguably best known for. But it wouldn't be the last time she worked with Hitchcock, even though she had told him in 1960 she wouldn't appear in the four pictures she was still contractually obligated to appear in their seven-year contract. After Psycho, Vera appeared in two episodes of the Alfred Hitchcock Hour in 1962 and 65. 23 years after the original film, Miles reprised her role of Lila Crane in 1983's Psycho 2. Reunited with John Wayne once more. In 1962, Vera starred in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance with her old co-star John Wayne, as well as James Stewart. Hallie Stoddard, the character she portrayed, was being pursued by two men, who were both competing for her hand in marriage. She appeared alongside John Wayne again in several scenes in the film The Green Berets, which hit theaters in 1968. But unfortunately, her scenes were omitted from the final cut. Later that same year, she starred opposite Wayne once more in Hellfighters. Vera's television career and retirement. 
Vera Miles had many TV appearances throughout her prestigious acting career, including Gunsmoke, Laramie, Wagon Train, and The Twilight Zone. She co-starred in the pilot episode of The Fugitive, as well as the first episode of the series I Spy. She enjoyed a supporting role in three episodes of the iconic sitcom My Three Sons. She continued to appear in TV series through the 80s. During that decade, she appeared on The Love Boat and Murder, She Wrote, in addition to several made-for-TV movies. But her acting career wasn't strictly limited to television in the 80s. She made several film appearances in films like The Initiation and Into the Night. Her last film role was alongside James Belushi in 1995's Separate Lives. After production wrapped on that film, she retired in Palm Desert, California. She never remarried after her divorce from her fourth husband, Robert Jones, whom she married in 1973. They divorced two years later in 75. Jessica Biel played Vera Miles in the 2012 biopic film Hitchcock, but she didn't get a chance to meet her in person to prepare for the role, since Vera is a very private, reclusive person. Instead, Beale talked with her grandson to gain a little bit of insight into what she was like when Psycho was filmed. What Vera Miles is up to these days. Vera Miles isn't really that interested in being in the spotlight. Those times are long behind her, and at 91, she's earned the right to a little bit of privacy. She refuses to do interviews and rarely, if ever, makes any kind of public appearances. Although she doesn't want anything to do with the press or media, she's still very appreciative of her fans who hold her in high regard. Vera frequently responds to correspondence via mail, and that's enough for her at this point in her life. Vera is a registered Republican who supported Dwight Eisenhower's re-election campaign during the 1956 presidential election. While she's presumably still a political conservative, she hasn't endorsed any particular candidate since then. She's also very religious and has been for the majority of her life. She's a member of the Church of Latter-day Saints, is a member of the Hollywood, California Stake, and has been a frequent visitor to the church's headquarters in Salt Lake City, Utah. Palm Desert, in which she currently resides, is a quiet town in the Coachella Valley with a population of about 50,000. Sounds like a perfect place to privately spend the remainder of her days. Now it's time to hear from you. In the comments section below, tell us what your favorite role of Vera Miles was. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.